Hi, my name is Aaron Song and I'm a head groundsman at the club. I've been in the industry 15 years now. I started off at a, a local sports club called uh, Hull YPI. Uh, I got into the industry basically just helping out at the sports centre and uh, the head groundsman Stuart asked me if I wanted to start an apprenticeship in it. It stemmed from there and Stuart really helped me in my career and yeah, it just went from there. Uh, just a match day when you've finished the preparations of the pitch, it looks, you know, when it looks good and it's nice to get in the stand or, you know, get in a seat and have a look at what, you know, how the fans can see it. Uh, the weather, how unpredictable it can be, like today it had sunshine, it's currently raining. Um, and just, yeah, that's about it, I love it really. So there's, there's seven of us uh, ground staff. We oversee the stadium pitch for both sports and then we look after Hull City's training ground which is a two and a half pitch facility. So yeah, the, obviously the fixtures can pile up in certain, certain times of the year. That can be quite a challenge obviously because the pitch doesn't get much time to recover or um, get it back into the shape we'd like to have but obviously we work very hard around the clock and yeah, we'll get it done. Um, in the stadium itself, it, it can have its own microclimate, so obviously temperatures fluctuate and they're a bit more intense in the stadium. Obviously you combat with disease and other problems that this, that this microclimate causes. So yeah, fix, fix the scheduling, obviously we have like rugby season that crosses over into football. Uh, that can, you know, that can be a busy time. Um, Obviously, the, we, we, we will end up having double header fixtures within the season where we play maybe football on the Saturday, rugby on the Sunday, or vice versa. So they can be challenging days. Yeah, I mean, if, if, if they enjoy sport and obviously enjoy the, the process of what goes into preparing these surfaces for sport, a good eye for detail. Um, but I think, obviously, you know, enjoying the sport and Having a bit of care for what what you what you want to do is a is a good start. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very active job. Um, a lot of walking involved. A match day can be a very long day. You could uh, could rock up at seven o'clock in the morning, and sometimes you won't leave till nine ten at night. Um, but again, it's it's part and parcel of the job. You you know you're here watching live sport. I, I don't think there's a job better than it but I might be a bit biased but yeah it's a great job. Yeah we, I mean we, I've always used Alit throughout, throughout all my time in the in the industry. What I really like about the we've got the C34s on here what I really like about them is the interchangeable cartridges so you can do different processes on the pitch with such cheese not having to you know get a different bit of kit out you can just lock and load swap your cartridge over and off you go. Yeah, I think it's a, a sign of the modern world we live in. You're getting electric cars and whatnot. So it was only a time before electric mowers and things like that came out. I think it is it is a good step forward. It needs to happen. Um, they're they're a lot more user friendly. Um, you know, you could you could double cut on a match day with a with a petrol mower, and you know, it's a lot a lot of exposure to to sound and noise uh, noise pollution. Um, but obviously with the battery power they're a lot more user friendly. Yeah, so start say seven o'clock in the morning, uh, we'd, we'd cut, um, be it double cut or just one cut on the day, it depends, it varies what, what the weather's done and what we've got done in the week. Uh, we'll mark out, um, get the goals up, we'll have certain people like Hawkeye and stuff on the pitch they want to be on and you know testing all their equipment. Um, back nets up and practice goals in, corner flags, usually get done for about 11, 12, have a bit of a uh, bit of dinner and then build up to the game, <coughs> obviously water if needed um, 
and then kick off your your on call for any problems that, that may arise during the game. And then half time we will go on and div it. Um, check everything's okay with the surface, <clears throat> then watch the second half. And then uh, we'd, after the game, we'll, we'll tidy up. We'll do, a, it might be a, a hoover with the rotary mowers, or it could be a different process. Sometimes we'll, we'll verti drain or we'll rake. It, it completely depends on what, what fixture pile up we've got or what, what we want to do on the pitch and achieve that night. Um, so yeah, basically we, uh, we've got the, the turf rakes, the brushes, the scarifying units. Uh, we, we use them quite, quite a fair bit. I mean, one of my personal favourite ones is the turf rake because you, you, know, you can go on and clean the surface out. Um, they, they will get utilised quite a lot, especially in this period where we've got a fair few fixtures and obviously the, the plant needs cleaning out and it, it gives it that that chance to breathe and you know the new it promotes the new growth and gets rid of any any unwanted debris. It's a really good device what you can clean the, the plant out with, um, help stand the sward back up and clean any unwanted organic buildup uh, and encourages, you know, promotes the new healthy aggressives to come through.